Hi, my name is Lysliner Inspires, and I am looking to change the narrative of what trauma and abuse looks like. From shame, silence, and stigma, to support and solutions. From hopelessness and rejection, to healing and recovery. How do I plan on doing that? By bringing awareness that the problem that goes with not talking about what you've been through, not addressing it, not only affects that individual, but it affects us as a community. It affects us as a society. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. It's the Signer Inspires, and we are live again with another episode of Healing Soul Moon Podcast. And I have my amazing guest co-host. I am Creative Words. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> the excitement is real in the studio, y'all. Let's um, go. <laughs> so look, before but before we get into what we're gonna be talking about today, let me, you know, introduce, reintroduce. Um, and let you know who I be about, what I be about, what I does, and also what the podcast is about. So my name is Dee Lasina Inspires. I'm an award-winning author. I'm a healing and recovery accountability expert speaker as well as coach. I am also the founder of Rock Your Rebel Creative Collaborative Consulting Company, where I partner with ministries and individuals alike who want to take the vision that God has given them a step further by helping them to produce creative content, creative design, and creative strategies. And I'm also a ghostwriter for those of you who are looking to let your story be told but don't know where to start. And so that is what I am, what I be about, what I does. And also, let's talk about Healing Soul Wound Podcast. This is a podcast that the Lord has gifted me with to allow the voice of the voiceless to be heard. Um, I like to say that I'm a voice for the voiceless, allowing um, those that maybe don't have the courage just yet to really speak out against the injustice that have been done to them by way of um, childhood abuse um, and trauma, childhood abuse and trauma, and providing them with tools and resources and support in, in the form of teachable lessons, things that I've learned along the, along the way, things that I'm still learning. Um, and moving forward in the future, I will be having guest speakers from all walks of life in the industry of healing and health and um, all the industries around the world that have a voice that want to also speak out for the voice and be a voice to the voiceless, but also believe in Christ Jesus because without Christ, you really don't have healing. So that is it in a nutshell, y'all. Let me let my amazing guest co-host tell you who she is, what she be about, what she does, baby. Hey, what up, what up, what up? I am Creative Words. I am an author, I'm an author of the trilogy, Writing Your Way Through Breakthrough. I'm also an author of two children's books. Um, the first one is The Tale of the Holy Trinity, um, or excuse me, A Twinkle Mystery, The Tale of the Holy Trinity. And the second one is Through Abba's Eyes, A Child's Perspective. I'm also a spoken word artist, and you can find the spoken words that the Holy Spirit and I partnered on on uh, YouTube. The channel is called Set Your Soul on Fire. This is who I yes. am. And y'all, y'all can't see her, but her skin is glowing, y'all. Like, like chocolate mocha latte with a sprinkle. Hey. Of <laughs> hey, that's that living water running through my veins. Come on now. Hey. Hey, in the vein of faith, baby. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> so if you have been paying attention, which I hope you have, we, over the last several weeks, we've been talking about faith. And I had told you guys that we were going to close the year out and talking about faith. Well, the year for us are here over in the whole, in the, in the holy, in the healing soul moon podcast. <laughs> also in the holy, but. Come on, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> I got a laugh. Take a laugh break. I oh, know that was that. Yeah, go ahead and get your seven chuckles right there. Cause I <laughs> in the holy. I now thought about first Peter right there. <laughs> no, she didn't say get my several seven chuckles. Like, well, I can't have eight chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I promise y'all, we we sober over here, so I, you know, for y'all be Absolutely. like these girls and start having holiday cheer. No, okay, we right, just it's the joy of the Lord. It's the joy of the Lord. That's what but for is. real though, <laughs> rewind. <laughs> so look over here in the Healing Soul One podcast. This is the end of the year for us as far as production goes. Now, of course, you can still listen to all past podcasts. You can listen all the way up until last year, and even more on Spotify, Amazon Music, and on my website, lasignerinspires.com forward slash podcast. I will be, if you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, 
Twitter or Threads, I will be posting clips of some of the podcasts so you'll be able to get those into your inbox or whatever. Um, but that for the most part, this will be the last new updated podcast. Mm-hmm. Going so on a hiatus. You said no, I said we're going on a hiatus. <laughs> yes, we're going on a sabbatical rest period where, you know, we both are going to get filled with what the Lord needs to be filled with so that we can come back to 2024 on fire. Let's go. Let's go. She's going to sound like that all the time, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. First thing in the morning, late at night, it don't matter. In the middle of the day, you're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> And I am clearly the calm one, as you can see. Mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but so, look, y'all, if you guys have been listening and paying attention, we've been talking about faith. Yes. And so we want to close out the year and close our year, our production year off with just a conversation about faith. We call, It's titled The Faith Conversation. Yep. Um, and so... Just wanted to like just talk about like what does faith mean to you? Like, you know, I posted that question on my Facebook page and my Instagram, and I gave a little few synopsis of what faith means to me. Mm-hmm. But sis, like, what does faith mean to you? When you think of faith, Ooh. like what does it mean to you? Oh man. Off the top oh. of the dog, boom. Oh, okay. That is walking off of a cliff blindfold and praying daddy gonna catch me. That's what faith is. So disclaimer. Y'all don't actually go walk off a cliff and blindfold. Use wisdom. Yes. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't say that I am creative words told you to do that either. Like, no, she said, what does faith mean to me? And that's what it means to me. Like, because with my journey, that's literally what it's been. Like taking those words, walking by faith and not by sight. And literally doing that every step of the way, walking in complete obedience even though I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? It, it, you, you have those moments where you you don't want to do it. I didn't want to get on no podcast and talk about my, like what the Lord has done for me. I didn't want to make no spoken word channel, you know what I mean? And do those things and, and so on and so forth. But out of faith and out of obedience to the Lord, because I surrendered my life to him, that's me walking off of a cliff doing those things that I've never done before. And that's what the Lord would have you doing. Yeah, that's it. But no, that's that's real talk because faith is is for me faith. The faith it's like childlike faith, where because mm-hmm. you know for those of you who know my background story, I got it. My my I didn't grow up with my father. I don't know who he is. Um, uh, my mother was very abusive, so I didn't really have a healthy structure environment for a home life. Um, so I didn't have anything to identify with when it comes to parenting. So for me, faith was childlike faith, like skipping. Like, la, 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 like, I don't have a care in the world. Um, and I literally, I don't have a care in the world. I mean, you know, things happen and life happens, you know, life be happening. Right. But in this space I'm in with dad, like, and I call God dad, like dad, cause he's dad. Right. I don't, but if something comes up, I'm like, okay, how are we going to deal with this Lord? And if I don't feel a need to move on it, I'm like, okay, well, you got this. And uh, ultimately, I just trust the Lord with everything. Um, and I listen even if it doesn't make sense to me. Because for me, my biggest problem was my brain. Like with when you are intellect or you're intelligent, I'm not like, you know, bigging myself up. I'm just being honest. Like I've always was a nerd. I've always was reading books. I was always looking up words. I won the spelling bee in like, I don't know, kindergarten, first grade. Okay, I was a nerd. Okay, Akila and the B, let's go. I was a nerd. Okay. I played the piano when I was in, in grade school. Hey. So, I played a French the- horn. See, don't no tell, one don't tell anybody else that. Shh, don't tell nobody else. Oh, the whole entire world knows this now. It cannot be taken back. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know if she knew that job, but now she does. So raw. Uh, <laughs> but with that being said, when you have I find that when you have intelligence or when you're inte- when you when you are a thinker, let me reflect because I don't want you, I don't want people to feel like you need to be, you know, special or not special. Um like mindless and not think to have faith, but when you are a logical thinker, when you are like analytical and you analyze, come on, everything, come on, faith can be like a little unpredictable, a little confusing, and very much so foreign and strange. Right. So for me, 
the Lord showed me the child life faith, which is simplicity, which is simple, which is like, I literally don't want for anything. And if there's something that I need or do come up that I want, you know, I'm like, okay, dad, how do we go about this? You know, and I'm not saying he's a genie. He's not. Right. I'm not just going to him when I need something, when I want something. I'm in constant commuting. commuting. Nope, that's traveling. But I travel with him too. Communication. <laughs> She laughing at me out of miss, uh, you know. Y'all gonna get this message today. Come on now. We got about half a chuckle. <laughs> Not even eight, half. Get that half out. Okay. Yep. She, half done. And so <laughs> I had to, I've learned to be, I'm in constant communication with guys. So I don't just go to him when I need something or I want something. I'm always communicating just throughout the day. Thoughts like he's there. I mean, he's everywhere. So why mm-hmm. not? You know, but I've learned to in this place of resting and like abiding in him, he abides in me, you know, be still, know that he's God. Like I'm living and walking in that. I thought that a whole lot though, y'all. Come on. As a go-getter who's always about her grind and was like, I gonna have I got I'm having multiple streams of income and they're gonna be, I'm gonna be a quadrillionaire and traveling a jet setter, mm-hmm. traveling the world. Um, I still have those goals of like traveling the world. I love traveling. Um, mm-hmm. but there, but the money isn't like the highest priority. My highest priority, honestly, is peace. I mean, don't Come get me wrong. I like the money because I can spend it for what I want. It, you do need money to travel. I can't walk up to the, to the travel agent like, yes, I got the Lord, and so I'm gonna get, go ahead and get that flight. They're gonna be like, ma'am, get off this plane. But That's I have a, a hard no. Security, okay. Right. But I I know where from. I know what for my health come from. I know who supplies all my needs. I know that. If he tells me to do something, he orders my steps. I trust that it may not make sense to my mom, to me, my 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 little small brain compared to the Lord because I didn't create the world. And I always say this: if you listen, I always say like I didn't create the world. So who am I to be like I'm gonna do the opposite of what God told me to do? Because like why, you know? Right. And so for me, it is being childlike. It is resting in faith. It is obedience. It's a faith is a means a, it's a whole lot, a whole lot for me. It's the very essence of my entire life and who I am. It's why I am still alive and had did not, you know, successfully commit suicide so many years ago. Come on, come on, come on. We still here. So that's what faith means to me. Like it is, like she said, podcast, podcast. Who I, I was like. You want me to do a what? Like, who who am I to have a platform and people are gonna listen to what I have to say? What do I have to say that's important? And that's right. that's a myth because we all have something to say. That's why mm-hmm. I said that this podcast is a voice for the voices because a lot of people who've gone through trauma and abuse feel like their identity is lost. They feel like they don't mm-hmm. have a voice, that they don't matter. And so you do. Faith right. tells us that if we believe in God and put our trust in him, he got our back. It's the answer to everything really and it says in god's word we cannot even come to god unless we first believe come on because who you praying to if you don't believe he that he exists come on and you know it's man mm, mm, mm. coming from having a tainted view like i was washing dishes at three years old you get what i'm saying like then hopping up at 12 i'm running a whole household like trusting and and having faith that was a man talk about overcoming a mountain like that was a mountain to overcome especially when you're used to doing everything within your own might like that man is I, sis i have learned so much from you and from being connected to you this past year you know what i mean and stuff because you you really taught me what it is to have faith and to really, really believe beyond a mustard seed. So it's, 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 it's really something like it's, it's really, really something to, to have something and to hold on to it and to, to, to trust that it's going to work out because you do have a parent that cares. You know what I mean? I, I have both my biological parents, but neither one of them care. You get what I'm saying? So it's, and they are they are alive and i have family members as well but they do not care so it's it's something else to not be neglected to not be abandoned to not be cast to the side by someone who really loves you and that's dad 
And I, I've never known that before. So again, it's, it, it was a mountain to overcome, but I, I promise you guys, it, you can do it because I've done it. I, like I said in the beginning, my introduction, I read four books, four books this year that was written and they weren't written by my might, even though that's what I'm used to doing. You know what I mean? Again, you got to surrender. You got to surrender. You got to lay it down. But you, man, yeah, <laughs> you almost have me going there for a minute. <laughs> I'm over here cheesing, no I, you know, y'all can't, y'all can't, y'all can probably hear my cheese, like, she, I can hear her cheesing, her cheesing loud, <laughs> when you were talking, I, I just heard, like, faith tells you you're loved, you know, yeah. and that's the thing, we are loved, there's nothing that we do that God, that will stop us from loving us, it says in his word, nothing separates us from the love of God, I mean, he loves us. We are his children. We are his creation. He's we're he loves us. And you know, let me say I, I'm gonna tell you like this this woman here, you know, she I'm just like wow. She, I met her through a um a online community where she actually reached out to me. You reached out to me, right? Yes, ma'am. I did. That, that, that's Obedient. not faith. That was that she yeah. was just she reached out to me and asked me, I forgot. How would she ask me? I let her whenever she wants to tell a story, you know, she can you know her own due time. But that was faith because she didn't know me from Adam or Eve. No. And she reached out to me and was like, you know, yada yada yada. Like I, you know, she wanted help us um her writing and yep. or she wanted some advice or she wanted a, a critique. I don't remember left the just that's what it was critique. And so I'm like, oh, okay, mm. that's what I do, but you know, that's part of my package or my strategy package is like you know, review and give you some creative strategies and so i'm like oh let me you know see and then she reached out for one business and end up finding out what i do as far as my healing sessions where i do um healing and recovery accountability coaching and mentoring so yep. then we that was in december and when i tell you she, she been rocking with me ever since she's about to graduate the program and i'm so proud of her like those four books she told you she wrote was like it was like boom 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 and each one she was like okay can you review i'm like hold on i still got the first one ma'am <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on <laughs> you know but it was it's a blessing to be able to see someone's journey of faith where you go from not trusting people to trusting an almighty god that you you don't see with your physical eyes you know but you know he everywhere you know he's there and you are trusting the people that he's putting in your life come because on and it's not me telling your business. I'm gonna say in general. No, you good. When we are hurt, you know, we have a traumatic experiences, especially by our parental figures. We tend to not trust people. You Absolutely know, we be not. like, what you really own? You know what I'm saying? We don't want people to get close to us. But it's a it's another thing when you are healing and you're a, you trust God, so you're you're also a, a trusting those that He's brought into your life because God uses people. Yes, God yes. God blesses us, but He uses people to bless us. Yes, He He's not dropping money out the sky. I mean, He probably could if He wants to, but that's why He created people. You right. know, we, he uses people to bless us. And so sometimes the very blessing, the very thing you've been praying for could be coming in the hands of a person that you might have turned your nose up at. You might have judged. You might have rejected because you're, 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 you got unhealed soul wounds that you need to deal with. And yep. so you need to, by faith, trust that if you gave, if you prayed to God for something, he's going to get it to you if you trust and believe. Now, how he gets it to you. That's up to him. That's his decision. You're not gonna dictate how he give it to you. I tried right. that to y'all. I'm gonna lie. I tried. That was that. a fail. That was a fail. <laughs> like, come on, can you send it this way, but not that way? Can't look like this, but not that. Can you make sure? And I was like, girl, if you don't go over there, sit down somewhere. Sit and down. Let me, and let me be God. So right. that's what faith. It's faith is so. It's such a beautiful thing. It's not the only thing in this walk, but it's a necessary part of this walk. Yes. You cannot be a believer in Christ Jesus and not have faith. To believe, be a believer means that you are you have faith because you yes. have to first believe in God to even come to Him and talk to Him. Because right. again, how are you talking to someone that you don't believe in? Right. No, for real, for real. Like, it's like, would you go to a doctor that you don't trust? Hey. <laughs> I mean, if y'all doing that, please stop. Because why? <laughs> Uh, would you invest your money in something you don't believe in? 
Some people do it. Get rich quick schemes and you know what yeah, I mean? But they I, actually believe in it though. That's why they do it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. They, they believe in it mis um, they believe in it foolishly. But Deception, I don't see yeah. nobody say, Well, I don't believe this, but I'm gonna do it. Why? Nobody's ever I don't know anybody's ever say I don't believe it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because you especially money. You ain't right. spending money on something that you're not gonna use, that you're not gonna believe it's gonna either make you smell good, feel good, make you, you know, my make you whatever it's some re right. reason why you're doing it you feel like it's gonna benefit you some way whether it's clothes shoes products services you feel like it's gonna benefit you you ain't just saying let me put ten thousand dollars into you know this product but i don't really believe it's gonna work i ain't never gonna say that no nah. so, no you don't right but why yeah. do we not put our all in god and he created everything because we don't, we can't see him, or we ain't seen him move the way we think he should move. But try God, like try him for yourself. You know what I'm saying? He says it all the time. Like in Malachi, he's a try me in this, try me in this. And I, I, I'm telling you guys, if you, you honestly do give God a try, is 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 going? He's going to blow your mind. He's going to blow your mind. Because I'm, I granted, like I, like she was saying before. I've only we we've only known each other for a year, and this has not been an easy road getting to, to to trusting and to calling her. You know, what I'm saying my sis, or even saying you know, what I'm saying I love you because my my motto back then when I was you know, what I'm saying I was in the world was if I can't trust my mama, then I can't trust nobody, and and that literally meant nobody. Not knowing I was putting a word curse on myself, not knowing I was putting a vow on myself. You know what I mean? Not knowing I was hindering myself. So that right there was rejecting what God was trying to do in my life because of the, the vow I had placed on myself because of my childhood trauma, because of the hurt and stuff that I, I, I experienced. But allowing the Holy Spirit to work and move the way that he has worked and moved in my life and through Miss LaSteiner, like it's 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 opened me up in ways I've never thought or even knew I could even be opened up in in first place. So it's it's literally I'm literally taking this step by step. Don't don't try to get into this thing and and, and think you're gonna run. No, nah, honey bunny, that ain't that ain't how this works. Just like a baby, you're gonna have to crawl, you gonna you gonna have to cry. You know what I mean? It, all those things is gonna happen once you once you get on this faith walk because he he has to heal you first before he even he he can even really move. Because of, of that trauma, regardless of, I mean, what, what, whatever happened to you, you know, he has to get rid of it. So, so, like I said, so he can move and he can't move without, I mean, he, he can, he can do all things. He can do all things, but you have to believe first. Yes. You have to have faith first, first. Yes. So I want to encourage anyone who's listening, who may be struggling in any area of life, financially, emotionally, relationship wise, um, physically, I dare you, yo. Ooh, I, I the did, challenge. I did, I the challenge you. has been laid. I dare you for the rest of this year, every day, cast your cares into the Lord. Let me put it in layman's term. Talk mm. to the Lord like he's right in front of you and be like, God, if you if you ain't ready to call him dad yet, if you ain't ready to call him father yet, God, because he is God. Okay, you're going yes. to put some respect on his name. Come on now. Capital G O D. Hey. Um, okay. God, <laughs> show me yourself. God, help me. God, like every day, talk to him. Like he's right in front of you. Because he really is mm -hmm. everywhere. Come on. I encourage you to do that for yourself. Not for me, not for I am creative words, not for this podcast, not for nobody but yourself. Right. Every day. And I dare you to share uh -oh. the testimony with me via email. If not, if when, hmm. oh yeah, when the Lord moves on your behalf in any way. And I dare you to open your mind to not expect him to come in the way that you think he should come or the way he came from everybody else, but open your mind to let him come the way he wants to come in your life, to come move on. in the way he wants to move. So I just triple dared you. I did. Ooh. I just triple dared you. Mm. Two, first, come to God as you are. Come mm -hmm. and acknowledge him every single day. Two, share the testimony at info .com. Now, if you, I, I will share it with the audience, but I will not put names. I might put initials. 
for the confidentiality, but our testimonies help other people to also believe, right? Come on. And when you testify what God has done in your life, it could be something as simple as the rash you had for all your life is gone. I don't care what it is. Ain't nothing too small for our God. Ain't nothing too big for him. Ain't Come nothing on. in between he can't do. He can do it all. That's the yes. thing we try to do. We try to give him what we think he can handle and take and take on the rest. Baby, give it all to him. I, matter of fact, I, fourth, I quite the quadruple quadruple dare you and give it all to him come on Cast lay it at his feet your cares to him give everything if your wow. child getting on your last nerve give it to him okay if you getting on your last nerve give it give yourself to him if your spouse getting on your last nerve give it to wow. him. whatever it does not matter maybe you feel like your life is going great and you don't have anything to give it to him well give that to him too ask him to show you maybe you got some pride right there you need to yeah. get to him maybe you have some you know you you have a, the love for money and not the love for people whatever the case may be i ain't judging anybody who thought their life is all put together you could be having you can't every, there are those of us who do have a great life and we really don't want for anything but we can still give things to god because we're Absolutely. still living on our earth we're still walking and so i talk to god like, okay lord what's up like i i know i have i'm you know i sometimes have an attitude problem <clears throat> hey it happens i get it to him though because i ain't perfect right. so i want to just dare you to to get to know him for yourself so you can build up your faith within your, yourself and maybe have somebody close to you to, to believe if right. you don't believe i dare you to ask god to show you who he is right I'm just don't saying. be like don't be like king nebuchadnezzar now he had everything but he did not acknowledge god he did not acknowledge him and he failed he went out there and he was eating with the animals and he lost everything. I mean, he 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 was out there, y'all. You can go and read it. I believe it's Daniel 4. Correct me if I'm wrong, Holy Spirit, but I believe it is Daniel 4. Go and read it by all means, but do not be like Nebuchadnezzar. I was Nebuchadnezzar. I had the house. I had the cars. I had every single thing. I had the money, but I had pride and I did not acknowledge God in regards to the things of what I did receive. And everything of what he's always said, when when the Lord blesses you, don't forget him. He has said that plenty of times in the Bible. And he said, he'll rise you up, he'll rise you up, and then people will forget him. Don't be like Nebuchadnezzar. Don't be like me. Once upon a time, I'm not that person no more. But give God his credit for what he's done in your life. Give God his credit for every single time he's delivered you, like she spoke about before, in regards to suicide. is Man, I, woo, on this walk here, it was plenty of times where I wanted to get out the shower. Like the, the devil was trying to tell me, get out the shower and go and cut your neck. Like two seconds kind of like thing. Don't you put no clothes on. Don't you dry yourself off. None of that. But glory be to God, I'm still here today and I'm going to continue to be here by his grace and by his mercy by his grace and his mercy not my own because my own i would be dead right now i would have got out that shower and cut my throat and be eh. that's what it would be but that's not what it is because of his grace and his mercy i will always give him credit and you should do the same in all your ways acknowledge him period that's and so in closing i have already you know put the dare out i just dare you you know just try god try him and see for yourself you know if you are a believer then go deeper you know learn to give everything to him or let him let him be god in your life i'm just saying you know let put him before everything else um and if you don't know him if you haven't accepted christ i encourage you to do that because you cannot live this life without him it may seem like you're doing pretty fine and maybe you feel like you are and i'm not here to judge but if you ain't doing, if you're doing life without Jesus, then you're not really doing life. Nope. Just saying. So that is what faith means to us. Um, yes. I want to wish everybody a, you know, I know this is early, but a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, a Happy New Year, all that great stuff. We will be back um, live and in effect for the second week of January with some new um, topics to bring for 2024. But in the meantime, be blessed, stay blessed. And if you have any prayer requests, you know, you can also send that to info at assignerspires.com. And I will pray as the Lord leads, as well as I am creative words. Um, 
and I just wish you all well. Any final words you want to say to the peoples? No, um, she quadrupled there, y'all. Try Jesus going into 2024. Try him. Try Jesus because he's the way, he's the truth. That, that, that's the only way you're going to get into heaven. That's the narrow path right there. Try him. And I promise you, I promise you, you can you can come back and quote us on this here. I promise you, he's going to he's gonna show up and show out. He will, yes. That's why I was like, not no if, but when, because they be, right. okay? Right. So, we love y'all. Have a yes. good rest of your year. And don't go spend all your money on Christmas. If you ain't got it, then you don't need to get it. That's just my personal opinion. Mm. Um, but if you want to do it anyway, well, that's your business. I, you know, yeah. But in the meantime, remember to be bold, be unashamed, and most importantly, be healed. Peace out. Blessings. Trauma and abuse affects everyone, and we all have a part to play to change the narrative with love.